Hello everyone, Cole here with another episode of Questions for Cole. This is our 54th episode. No questions from the congregation over the past few weeks, so I will share a question that I asked of our sacrilegion group during our online gathering just yesterday. It was about Canada Day. It was actually more than one question. Here's what I sent to the participants as a conversation starter the day before yesterday. I wrote to them, topic for the day is Canada Day. You've likely been hearing on the news that many people and places are deciding not to celebrate Canada Day. Many voices are calling for conversation rather than celebration, so that there can be some more understanding between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people, and perhaps some healing can happen. So Canada Day or no Canada Day? And what does Canada Day mean to you? And perhaps even more important, what does Canada mean to you? Do you feel the same about your country as you always have? If not, why not? And what can be done about it? Well, we ended up having a very good conversation about all that. And of course, as always, we went off on a few other tangents as well during our time together. But we always manage to get back to the theme before we finish the session. The general consensus was that none of us were really big celebrators of Canada Day in the first place, perhaps me least of all. Fireworks and flag waving and parades have never been important to me. In fact, a lot of what ends up happening on Canada Day kind of mystifies me. So I'm glad that this year might be different in many places. If there is more focus on conversation, that could be really positive. Perhaps we can all have some time to just reflect, both on the blessings of living in this country, what we've done well, the relationships that are positive and life-giving and respectful, but also spend some time reflecting on what we have not done well, where we have failed, where things have gone horribly wrong, what we can learn from all of that and how we might work to make the future better, seeking justice and truth in what we say and what we do both as individuals and as a collective. We had some good discussion about an article written by Negan Sinclair a few days ago about this issue. He started his article saying, Canada will soon celebrate its 154th birthday. This year, however, will be different. There won't be fireworks, downtown parties, and maple syrupy sweet songs of pioneers, golden goals, and multiculturalism, not just because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but for a bigger reason, something far more important. This year, there will be talk of residential schools, land theft, and an Indian act that will not go away. For most Canadians, this will be a radical new story, something they are not prepared for. Some will be in shock and tears. Others will say, this has nothing to do with me. A few will simply try to ignore it altogether. It's a powerful article. I encourage you to find it in the free press from a few days ago and uh, have a read. Sinclair ended the article saying that perhaps Canada Day should be cancelled in some places and perhaps it should go ahead in other places, depending on the leadership and how it's done. He said, a somber, truthful and real discussion needs to happen. It's just too bad it took 154 years to get here. But if it happens, he, f he finishes with, it will result in the best Canada Day yet. I feel like those discussions are at least starting to happen, not just discussions, but a chance for non-Indigenous people to just listen. Just today I heard that, I think it was something like 400 or so radio stations across the country were taking part in something called A Day to Listen, an unprecedented collaboration to amplify, elevate, listen to, and learn from Indigenous voices. So that is happening all across the country today, Wednesday, June 30th. There was an article in the paper the other day about various communities cancelling their regular Canada Day celebrations and many of those places replacing those with something quite different this year. There is a special event happening at the Forks in Winnipeg tomorrow as well as an Every Child Matters walk beginning at 1 p.m. starting at Portage in May. I also heard an interview on CBC just this morning with the Canadian Olympic team's chef de mission Marnie McBean Marnie was a gold medal winning rower when the Olympics were in Atlanta. She was talking about what Canada has meant to her through the years and through her Olympic years and how that has changed 
not just for her, but for athletes in general who represent Canada. There is still pride there, for sure, but it's not just rah, rah, aren't we the best. More and more, there's an acknowledgement that as Canadians and as people representing the country on the world stage, there is an opportunity to speak truth and to give voice to some of the ones who have been voiceless, to share with the world some of our truths, our struggles, and to commit to working through all of those things as best we can to a better future. I feel like alongside the truth of the horrors and pain and terrible mistakes of the past, many of which are coming to light now, many of which we've known for, for years, there's also, at the same time, some real potential for conversation right now. It is happening. But hopefully it doesn't end up being just talk. But hopefully it transforms us into a better country where together we seek justice and right wrongs and build a society more worthy of pride and celebration for all of us, not just for some. Let's work at it together as we journey on. That's all I have for today. I'd love to hear what's on your mind about this or any subject. If you have comments or suggestions or questions, send them in to me. My email is cole at selkirkunitedchurch.ca. See you next time. God bless.